Okay, let's do problem 8.2.30. So remember now the numbers may be different from what you uh, experienced. In a program designed to help patients stop smoking, 241 patients were given sustained care and 81.3% of them were no longer smoking after one month. So the 241 is the sample size n, the 0.813 as a decimal is the p hat. That's the sample proportion. Use alpha equals 10% significant level to test the claim that 80% of the patients stop smoking when given sustained care. So the first thing is the uh, null says that it's equal to 80%. Therefore, it's a two-tailed test, so A. The alternative hypothesis is that it's not equal. Now, the question here is, is the 81.3 significantly larger than the 80% that's claimed? So we will do open stat crunch. And we will go to, whoop. We will go to stat, proportion stat, one sample with summary. So the number of successes is 81.3%. So we put that as a decimal, 0 0.813 times the 241. Whatever that number is, the calculator, the computer can figure it out. The number of observations is 241. So the, the null is 0.8, or the P naught. P naught is 8.80, and it's queued up for a two-tailed test. You can see right there, we have the three choices, two-tailed, left tail, right tail. So we want it to be two-tailed, as was in part A there. So compute. So the test statistic is the Z stat. At the three two decimal places, it's 0 0.50, which is rather small. number lock. There we go. Okay, then they're going to ask me for the p value and the p value is 614 0.614 to three decimal places. That's very high. That's greater than 10%. So since the p is high, the null must fly. We're not we failed to reject. There is not sufficient evidence to reject the claim. Notice it's a double negative. There's not sufficient evidence to reject the claim. OK? If you follow along in your uh, flow chart that I handed out, then that would be the correct choice. OK, so that is problem 8.2.30. This is Dr. K over and out.